Hello everyone, welcome to External Star Channel. My name is Marek, as you already know, and today I will be unboxing, reviewing, and then also rating this nice 1 to 18 model scale. <laughs> This nice 1 to 18 scale model of Ferrari SF90 made by Burago. So let's start right now! So as always, click on like even before uh, you watch the video, that's what my subscribers do. And now let's finally start with that, okay? So we have this beautiful transparent box so that we already see what is actually inside. And I would like to start the review right now. So let me maybe directly start here and do this nice unboxing. Yeah? So I'm quite curious how this will look like and all right so taking it out of the box that's quite simple it's 1 to 18 scale and uh, yeah it was not really expensive I must say and because of that I think it will make me happy eh? because if I don't have to pay a big amount of money it's always making me happy good so now we have this plastic frame which I'm just going now to, I'm going to remove it from this plastic frame actually right now. So let's do it. Um, I will need just a screwdriver. Okay, guys, so let me just use it here. <coughs> Good. <coughs> Good, so now let's, let's check it out. Yeah? We have only the model here. I don't need the screws anymore. Well, Look, look at that, yeah, so we have also this tape here that I now need to cut, but then, oh, the color, it looks quite nice, yeah, nice red Ferrari, and I like this red color on all of them, but now let's also check how we can remove this tape, all right, so here, it's simple, yeah, just do this, okay, and maybe one more time, okay, I need... <clears throat> I just need to cut it with, with my scissors, okay? So, so on the other side, good. So now finally it's here and I can start reviewing it. But before I do that, I see, I also see that there is something else. There is also a rubber, rubber band here, which is preventing the engine hood or the engine bay from being opened. Okay, so now removing also this rubber and uh, then let's continue uh, with reviewing the car. But before I do that, I again, I have to do one more thing here I see, and this is my dental tool. Uh, for those of you who are watching me regularly, this is how I remove the tape. Yeah, because it's the best tool for removing such parts and Never, I never scratched anything, eh? so don't don't worry, I will not scratch it. Okay, so now finally, we we have the model, and now let's review it. <clears throat> Good. So then, look at this nice Ferrari logo here. I really love it. Also, the nice headlights. Hmm, quite detailed, I must say. But here only. This part, this is only plastic, yeah, so this could be a bit improved. Look at that, yeah, this is not perforated, one plastic piece, so of course, more luxurious brands uh, that are making uh, models, they would probably improve this part, but okay. What is more bothering me is here the wheel, which is way too side, yeah, so look at that. It should be really pressed more inside, under this fender, but it's somehow too much outside. If I look at it from the top, too much outside, okay? In the rear, it's okay, yeah, it's inside. But here, maybe I will need to fix it a little bit, press it and press it and push it, push it. Okay, so that's one way what to do. Okay, other than that, I like the brake caliper said. Okay, they turn, they spin, Spin. Oh, they spin really fast. Okay, almost like Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels, it's, but it's Burago wheels. Okay, and there is also nice 
a horse in the middle that's the Ferrari logo of course all of you know that yeah and we have also one uh, emblem here Ferrari here and the license plate says only SF90 spider spider means in this case uh, that the roof is actually uh, there is no roof yeah? it can be removed so-called spider in Porsche I think they call it Targa and so on and so on there are many cars with this feature this is one of them okay it's a hard top okay what now can we do all right we can somehow open this and look at that what is what is actually hidden here I would expect the hard top but it's not there or at least I don't know how to remove it guys yeah, so I would really expect the hard top to be here then I can remove it and then place it here as a roof and it is not possible why not all the other models would probably have it but here this Burago somehow missing it so why can we open that why can we do this open it and then there is no roof inside I don't understand that okay no more emotions this is a professional review okay so let's behave a little bit more professional here all right let's continue with this engine that I hope I can also open oh yeah oh yeah I can open that and hopefully you see a little bit inside now when I rotate the model like this and maybe also to this camera yeah it's just to show you yeah it's that you really see the engine it is there all right so then we have two gas door caps obviously and please don't um, don't make stupid comments in the comment section just in case I'm saying something completely inappropriate. Yeah? It looks like two gas door caps, one on left side, one on the right side. I'm not sure if this is really uh, how it should supposed to be. So I'm sometimes I'm just checking after I review the model online. Yeah? So when I cut and edit the video, I will of course check some pictures and show them to you if this is really how it's supposed to be anyway here oh perforated mesh grill here okay that's completely unexpected but it's there wow so in in the rear they have this nice perforated grill in the front it's just imitation it's not perforated yeah it's a, one plastic piece so what they did here in the rear in the back that's completely great what is here in the front it's not so great okay good then the interior itself yeah? so of course we can open the doors one two very great look at those nice seats it looks like a beige leather but it's plastic and then the steering wheel look at that when i touch the wheels rotate it it's also connected to the steering wheel nice ferrari steering wheel we have the um, rear view mirror also side view mirrors everything presented here very well also here the small antenna very nice and then those air intakes again not perforated unfortunately on the other side we have the vipers yeah so oh i can't really move them so much but that's okay that's okay we also have a small glass here yeah which is there just in case there's too much wind it's windy so that the wind is not going uh, just between the two seats it's going a little bit upper where the passengers no longer have their heads okay that's that's quite okay so yeah and what what about here in the front i'm quite sure you can open it as well and that's what i will do now yeah so all right this stradal sf90 there is a frank here in the front yes yeah, so uh, you can also put some storage here uh, maybe a shopping bag something like that there is enough space okay so this Burago overall now I really need to tell you what I think about it right so maybe also the undercarriage completely flat no details no exhaust nothing yeah so that's just a flat and Ferrari SF90 Spider from Burago 1 to 18 scale nothing else 
And of course, this is made under a license of Ferrari SPA. <clears throat> All right. So good. So this model actually, now to be really honest, yeah, for this price point, it's like, I don't know, below 100, maybe it's 50 to 60, 60 dollars. Wow. It's really great. Yeah. Imagine that uh, some other brands that produce Ferraris, and I'm not talking about uh, Hot Wheels Elite, but something more like BBR, yeah, it would be like 300, 300 bucks, you just throw it to the trash can and then you have maybe a similar quality. Yeah? Of course, maybe the shot lines, everything would be a little bit better on this BBR, but not tremendously better, yeah, just a little bit. And actually, if this car is in the shelf and I have some visits coming here and they look at the cars, at the models, they would not see any difference. Yeah? It's only for the eyes of us, of us collectors. We, of course, know about that. Yeah? And what is really bad about this model? Only one thing here, the wheel is too much shifted to the side. That can be fixed. The second thing, I'm missing here the roof. Yeah, that would be really great if they also provide a roof. I'm one more time maybe checking the box here. Oh, it's it's not included. Yeah, so sometimes even Nora for mini champs, they also provide a roof and then you can play with that a little bit more. Uh, but not here. Okay, so this is a shame, but other than that, really a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful model. And uh, I, I'm recommending it. So if you are into this sports car sub niche, then probably you should consider a Ferrari. Uh, such a shame that Auto Art and other manufacturers, they don't have the Ferrari license. Yeah? So Burago is profiting from that. They are making nice models and they are actually dominating the market of 1 to 18 Ferraris because of the limited license. Yeah? So actually, yeah, that's how it is. And when I was a kid, there was only Ferrari from Burago, nothing else ever. Yeah? So, that's also a little bit of nostalgia here and that's maybe why I like it so much. All right, so guys, thank you for watching and uh, now only time for the final rating. So thank you and see you next time. Bye bye.